So today we have an interesting specimen. Right now, Kapow, a new show on Disney XD, but it's who made it that makes it interesting. We'll get to that. So right now, Kapow is an animated sketch comedy show that stars a bunch of characters that I can only assume are anthropomorphic cereal marshmallows. I should preface this video by saying I'm not a huge sketch comedy fan. Um, there have been a few shows I kind of like, like Kids in the Hall, uh, Chappelle Show, Key and Peele, a lot, of, a lot of stuff Comedy Central does. I haven't really cared about Saturday Night Live in about 15 years. I think I lost interest about the time Will Ferrell left, although uh, for me the best cast was in the mid-90s with uh, Phil Hartman and Chris Farley and Chris Rock and all them. And I never liked Mad TV, especially in the later seasons when all he did was create a character and then have that character say their catchphrase over and over and over and over every single week. And while we're at it, I never found Mad funny, the Cartoon Network show. And it turns out one of the creators of Mad actually worked on Right Now Kapow, so that was not boding well. See, the problem I have with sketch comedy is that it just kind of comes out of nowhere. You're suddenly forced to accept this nebulous chunk of reality that vanishes as quickly as it came. And more often than not, the jokes are going to be hit or miss. Right now, Kapow is definitely no exception, although to the show's credit, there were a lot of really funny bits. In fact, I would dare say that there were more good jokes than bad jokes. There were a lot of good setups and punchlines, and a lot of really good premises, and the bad jokes were usually pretty quick. They would just kind of come and go, and then you could forget about them. And there was always a running gag that continued throughout each episode that was usually pretty clever. The show was also kind of a trip to look at. Now, I don't know what's been going on with cartoons for the past five or six years, but I don't know why we decided that most cartoons need to look like a bad LSD trip. Here's the thing, though. Remember when I said it was interesting who made this show? Well, this was made by Warner Brothers. Yeah, Warner Brothers was working with Disney on a show. I'm pretty sure the last time Disney and Warner Brothers worked together was Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and that movie is still great. So it just blew my mind that Warner Brothers Animation made this show for Disney. One other interesting thing I should mention is the voice cast. Now, it seemed that most of them were unknowns, or at least I've never heard of them, but I did recognize one. The Ice Cream Cone guy was voiced by Kyle Kinane, who is the voice of Comedy Central. Whenever you watch a Comedy Central promo for one of their shows and you hear the voiceover, that's always him. And on top of that, he was a executive producer on a bunch of Comedy Central shows. Comedy Central, of course, is Viacom. So now we have this, like, weird nexus point where Disney, Warner Brothers, and Viacom all meet. And it's just... It's, what are you doing, Disney? Are you trying to open up a black hole or something? You know, I, I still think that this show was all right. But the fact that Warner Brothers and Disney were working together on something, I... I feel like I expected something a little bit more out of it. I mean, you have the two giants of cartoons and entertainment in the same room together. I mean, I, I just I, I just feel like, uh, am I wrong to think that maybe, maybe they could have come up with something bigger? You know, Disney, Warner Brothers, if you guys are going to work together on something, how about doing, I don't know, maybe a, a movie featuring your mascots? That would be amazing. You know how huge that would be? Let's be real for a second. The Mickey Mouse Gang and the Looney Tunes, they they haven't been doing much lately. I mean, the Mickey Mouse Gang, I think, has been relegated to children's programming, and they keep trying to bring Bugs Bunny back with varying results. But I, I would love to see that. I would love to see Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny together again. But I guess that's just wishful thinking, and that's all I got for right now, Kapow. So leave a comment below and let me know what you think of it. And what Disney and Warner Brothers crossover would you like to see? Hard mode. You're not allowed to mention Marvel vs. DC. Haha, <laughs> I thought of that. My name is Rob, and have a wonderful day.